even after 50 years, the death has been clouded in conspiracy and mystery. On this anniversary, a Texas A&M professor spoke about his research to determine just how many bullets were fired into Kennedy's car. We join KAG's HD News reporter Monica Castro. Monica, his findings challenged a chemist's original claims that there was a second shooter involved in Kennedy's assassination. That's right. While Texas A&M professor Cliff Spiegelman's research has come to an end, he worked with a team who studied the bullet evidence and believes that Harvey Lee Oswald was the only shooter. In this research, they looked at the same brand of bullets believed to be used by the shooter and compared them with records of evidence from the assassination. During the time of the assassination, researchers used a method of forensic testing called comparative bullet lead analysis, a technique that uses chemistry to link bullets found at the crime scene. He says the world may never know just how many bullets were fired. The scientific answer is between, just on from chemistry, between two and five, could be two, could be more than two. If it's two, uh, it's more likely that Oswald acted alone. The motivation behind Spiegelman's research was to also prove that no matter how many forensic resources are available to determine a case, there can still be flaws. Matthew?